We continue covering Colorado First at Five, where we are celebrating the arts in Denver. Now, this coming week is filled with arts events, including the Denver Film Festival, Denver Fashion Week, and a free night at the museums. Today is the first Friday Art Walk. Yeah, Michaela White, how did she pick the fun? I was wondering night? that. Michaela's like, pick me, pick me. I want to be out there tonight. Right? <laughs> So yes, we are making our way around the studios on Blake Street, guys, giving you a look at what you can expect when you come on down here for Denver Arts Week, the kickoff, a block party, um, you know, just a lot of fun going on here. So as you just mentioned, Denver Film Festival kicks off today in conjunction with Arts Week. Among the more than 180 films showing at the festival will be a new documentary. Justin Adams shows us it features a Denver man's mark on history. I got interested in aviation when I was a little bitty kid. Ed Dwight beat the odds by becoming a decorated Air Force pilot. I went in the military when I was 18 years old, and, and next thing you know, I'm flying every airplane in the inventory. His time in the Aerospace Research Pilot School is the subject of a new documentary by National Geographic. I was a one-man operation when the president announced to the world that he was going to announce a black astronaut. The Space Race chronicles how that announcement took the world by storm. It was a hard sell in the beginning, and uh, uh, they reacted by, you know, spreading the word, you know, this, uh, uh, don't talk to this guy, don't socialize with him, he's not one of us. And the ripples it created across generations. 20 years later, Guy Bluford comes along and is the first black American to go to space. He had a path that was steps in the bush that he could follow because of what Ed did. Dwight credits his mother for giving him the courage to be a pioneer. She kept whispering in my ear about how great this country was and how I could be a part of what this country was about. But the whole idea, you had to do something creative on the good side, you know, and make everything better than it was before. I took that as a as a rule of thumb. Dwight ultimately went on to become one of the only black sculptures to depict the African-American experience. And Dr. King is metaphorically standing on, on the shoulders of Gandhi, Rosa Parks, Soldier of Truth, and Frederick Douglass. Ed Dwight's legacy stands in public spaces across the nation and now aspires on film. I'm Justin Adams, covering Colorado First. Now, the space race is screening Thursday, November 9th at the Museum of Nature and Science's Infinity Theater. And the Denver Film Festival kicks off tonight with a red carpet event outside the Ellie Calkins Opera House and a screening of American fiction. And Michael Karen, Ed Dwight, such an amazing man, and that movie looks really good, guys. Yeah, it certainly does, Michaela. That was a great preview, and it looks like you're having a lot of fun out there tonight. Keep that up. We'll see you tonight at 6 o'clock as well. Thanks.